balls in the air. Adrian Sieber is going to catch it, and he is going to drop it. And that'll be Jackson County football. It went just kind of right through his hands right there. And, uh, so that'll, Jackson County will take over in really good field position. That'll be on the 24-yard line. So quick turnaround. Uh, not the start we wanted, but uh, let's see if our defense, you know, we're going to lean on our D right here. Lean on our defense and make a play and get this ball back. Looks like Yorby De Leon will be uh, as a cornerback spot and Adrian Siebert tonight. They're going to get the 22. 22 is going to get up the middle. He's going to have some hard fault yards. Not going to be enough for a first down, but it's going to be enough for about eight yards on first down, bring up second and short. Steven Mitchell on the carry. And uh, second, it looks to be about three. Ball is inside, or inside the Ribbon Springs 20 yard line now. Seven is the quarterback, uh, and she's in shotgun formation, 22 to his left. He's going to give it to 22. He's going to make one guy miss in the hole, but he's not going to get very far. He's going to maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Good, good defensive hold right there on second down. And uh, that's going to bring up third and short. 76 is uh, Chris Martinez. He was in there early on that and made a good tackle right here. It's going to bring up third and about four. Seven and shotgun, and he got us to jump off sides. And uh, he just went with a clap out of the shotgun formation, and we didn't watch the ball. That's going to be an easy first down right there. We had them third and about four, and that's going to be enough for a first down. It's going to move the chains. And uh, two mistakes early on. we got to clean up if we want to get in this ball game. It's going to be at the ball at about the 13-yard line. Jackson County will be first and 10. Seven is uh, the quarterback. 22 looks to be the uh, running back that they're going to feature tonight. Seven's going to hand it off to 22. No, he's going to keep it. And he is going to be sacked by Brenton Powell. Kind of faked it. And uh, he was able to... Uh, he kind of held it a little bit too long and able to get a couple of Bulldogs in on the sack right there. And uh, that's going to bring up second down and 10. Uh, good play by the Bulldogs. And early on, you know, Bulldogs' defensive line is kind of giving them some problems as uh, we was able to uh, get a little penetration right there. It was just a kind of a zone read. He pulled it back, kind of gave it in his belly and pulled it right back out and was able to get some penetration right there. And, Want to bring up second and 10. And he's going to drop back the pass. And he's going to hit his guy. But he fell down as he caught it. So he didn't get able to run. That's going to bring up third down. So uh, third and about four. Balls inside the 10-yard line. Shotgun formation. They're taking their time. Look like they're kind of changing it. And uh, seven, he, I don't, he's got pretty good command of the offense so far, it looks like. And he's going to inside and run to 22, and it's going to be close to a first down. I'm not sure if he got it. It's going to be close, right at the sticks. And uh, they're going to signal first down. So that was a, just an inside handoff to 22. And it's going to bring up first and goal, and ball looks to be about a four-yard line. Uh, they're in a two-by-two two set, two receivers right, two receivers left, 22 in the backfield, and that's the only guy that's ran it so far for them. So it looks like who that's, they're going to be get it to a guy, and number seven is in at quarterback for Jackson County. Shotgun formation. Going to inside handoff, and he's going to go nowhere. Our D line is looking good tonight. Number 79, I believe that's Jordan Ray. Good penetration up front. Going to bring up second and goal. Uh, 
Looks to be ball. Uh, I believe he might have lost a yard on that play. So D line for Red Bull Springs early on is kind of kind of pushed the line of scrimmage back. So that's a good sign for us tonight. Uh, just got to eliminate the penalties early on. T turnovers and penalties. Seven shotgun formation. Back to his left. He's going to inside handoff again at 22. He's going to lunge in, signal, touchdown, Jackson County. Uh, same play they ran early right there that was stuffed, and they, they kind of got a push, and 22, smart football player, he was stopped about a yard short, and he reached over as he fell down and was able to cross the goal line. So that's going to make it six to nothing, uh, Jackson County, and that's going to be 7.26 to go in uh, the first quarter. Number nine is going to hold it. 84 looks to be the kicker for Jackson County. All right, Neyland, you going to call this for me? All right, snap down. Ball's in the air. Is it good, Neyland? No good. No good. Looks like we got a tip on that ball. It's going to make it six to nothing. Number 84 is going to put his foot into it and it's going to go again to Adrian Sieber. He drops it, picks it up. Ball is going to get across the 25 down to about the 26 yard line. Uh, so it's going to be our first offensive series. Uh, let's see if we can get a few first downs. Get the clock running in our favor a little bit. We're down six to nothing. It's seven twenty to go first quarter. Uh, kind of start lineup: Lancaster, Tyler Lancaster, number fourteen. Uh, Brent Powell looks like he's going to be a wide receiver tonight. Number eleven, Houston Taylor, twenty-three, will be a name you hear a lot tonight. Houston Taylor is going to get the ball on a handoff, and he is going to be hit hard by number fourteen. Good hard run by Houston Taylor, but he was hit down and laid to a, about a one-yard gain. If he could have made that guy miss, he would have been gone. But uh, 14 was coming from his linebacker spot, read it, seen it, and uh, put a thump on that one. It's going to be second down and about nine. A.C. Cherry shotgun formation. Got it back to his left. He's going to look to pass right here. He's going to have Lancaster. He's going to hit Lancaster. And Lancaster runs hard, gets to the 32-yard line. Going to bring up third and short. Good pass by A.C. Cherry. Had to pump fake. There's a little, little track in front of him. Is he able to hit Tyler Lancaster? Lancaster cuts up field hard and gets positive yards. Going to bring up third and about four. All right, Red Bull Springs breaks a huddle. Brent Powell to his left, two receivers to his right. Houston Taylor is to his right. It's going to come in motion, and we got a fumble. And Red Bull Springs is able to follow up on it right there. Leva is trying to go to Tyler Lancaster and have uh, Houston uh, kind of lead block for him. And uh, was a, not a good uh, clean handoff, and he dropped it. So that's going to bring that forward down, fourth down and about seven for the Bulldogs. Decision time. Balls be at the 28-yard line of Red Bulling. And uh, kind of got some guys running in and out on both teams. Number 54 is back to kick for Red Bull Springs. And we have some confusion Illegal substitution on Red Bull, and we had a kid run in late, and I think we had too many guys out there. Uh, so, I believe we have 12, so it's going to be five yards on us. Going to bring up fourth and 12 now. So, we uh, see, that's going to take the ball back to about the 22 yard line. Uh, Jackson County has got number four back deep at his own 46-yard line. And we've ran another guy off. Maybe we got 11 now. All right. 
they went punt block, almost got it. And it's going to be a good kick. Ball's going to be down at the 46 of Jackson County. As uh, Jackson County right there, they, they went punt block. They was trying to block that one. And they was about two inches away from getting it. But kudos to 54 for Red Bull Springs. Got a good kickoff. Uh, got it across midfield and uh, was able to get no return on that. So ball's going to be at the 46-yard line of Jackson County, first and 10. 4.46 on the clock, 6 to nothing. Jackson County Blue Devils are ahead. Looks to be two receivers right, 88 and 3. 7 is the quarterback. 22 is the tailback. Looks to be number one for Jackson County is their kind of get it to guy on, as a receiver. He's lined up left against Jorby DeLeon. Seven. We'll take the snap. It's going to be a quick pitch, 22. And they're going to lose yardage on that one. Good play by 54 for the Red Bull and Springs Bulldogs. Let's see if I can find. That will be Damian Patterson. Good play by 54. Had to contain, dropped him for about five yard loss. Just a quick pitch to the short side of the field and was able to uh, string it out. And a couple more Bulldogs cleaned it up. That's going to bring up second and about 15. Shotgun formation 22 to his left. And they're going to air it out. And it's going to be caught by number one, and he's gone. Touchdown. Uh, just a straight go route. And uh, number one, we, uh, we had a double team back there, but he was faster than our double. And uh, just a straight go right down the left side line. Quarterback made a good pass, hit him in stride, and he was gone. It's going to bring it to 12 nothing Jackson County. Good pitch and catch there by Blue Devils. And uh, that's going to be bring it to 12 0, 352. And no. All right, we got a flag down on the extra point, so that's going to – not sure who it's on. Defensive offsides. And let's see what they do here. All right, we got an all sides on the extra point. So I think Jackson County is going to bring their offense on the field now. Since uh, that will move the ball from the two to the one-yard line. And uh, I believe they're going to go for two now. And uh, see Coach Loftus is signaling the play. Two number seven. For Jackson County. Going to have a receiver right, receiver left, two tight ends. Seven is going to quarterback, draw it in. Just quarterback power on the right side. Had an overload with two tight ends, and he's going to walk in the end zone. It's going to bring the score to 14 nothing Jackson County. 3.52 to go first quarter, and uh, we'll be right back with Bulldog football. All right, welcome back. Jackson County is going to put their foot in it. Ball is going to go to Houston Taylor. He's going to drop it. He's going to pick it up. Houston Taylor is going to run hard, and he is going to be dropped down at about the 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Red Bull and Springs Bulldogs. 14 to nothing is our score. First quarter, 342 to go. Houston Taylor uh, bobbled it, but he's able to pick it up, and he ran hard. And uh, cut that ball up and uh, 
was able to get it out across the 25. Ball's going to be at the 26-yard line. You've got Brenton Powell, receiver to his left. Uh, wing T formation, AC Cherry under center. And he's going to hand it off just a power up the middle to Tyler Lancaster. In 14 for Jackson County, can thump. That dude is hitting tonight. And uh, he uh, met Tyler Lancaster in the hole right there, dropped him for about one or two yards. And uh, Tyler Lancaster is down on the field. And uh, trainer is going to attend to Tyler Lancaster and uh, we'll uh, come right back and uh, give you an update on him. And uh, hopefully, he's, uh, hopefully he's okay. I think he just had to kind of, hate to speculate, but I think he just had the wind knocked out of it. So uh, hopefully he's going to be all right and uh, he'll be able to come back in this ball game. Second down. And nine, AC Cherry shotgun formation. Got her back to his right. Seaburn is going to come in for a handoff. And he is going to be dropped for about a yard gain. And uh, Seaburn just kind of, he was in the right wing Cherry back and kind of came in motion. And AC Cherry handed it off to him. And uh, Jackson County did a good job of setting the edge. And, and uh, St. Contain over there, he was able to turn him in. And a couple of Jackson County Blue Devils come in. So it's going to bring up third and about eight. We've had two, two one-yard games right there on first, second down. and It's going to bring up third down and about eight. A.C. Cherry. Shotgun formation. Yorby De Leon to his left. Three receivers left. And we've got a timeout. Timeout, Bulldog. Timeout. Uh, we got a timeout in before the snap right there. So uh, Coach Derek Matter called that before that play happened. So that's going to be third and eight. We're going to take a break, quick break. And we'll be right back with Bulldog football. Shotgun formation, H.H. Cherry's going to roll out left. He's got a guy It's going to be picked off by 88 for Jackson County, and he is going to get it down inside the 20. And uh, just a roll out left and uh, maybe a little miscommunication, wide receiver quarterback, and threw it to 88 for Jackson County, and he was able to pick it off on third and long, return it to the 20-yard line, first and 10, Jackson County. They will be at the Red Bull Springs 20, uh, we'll say 21, I believe they put it down. So uh, good tackle by Tyler Lancaster to preserve a touchdown. And uh, going to bring up first and 10, Jackson County. Two receivers to the right. They got a receiver way to the left. Uh, Josh Hopple splits with his wide receivers like that. They are almost on the sideline. And... Uh, Seven's going to hand it. No, he's going to keep it. He's going to throw it out in the flat, and it's going to be dropped. Incomplete. Yeah, and that's a big, big play right there by the defense. Going to bring up second and ten. Uh, number seven, he's pretty good quarterback for Jackson County. Every pass he's made, he's been right on target. He, They kind of slip a tight end right there out in a flat, and uh, if he catches it, he, he may get a few yards on it, and uh, he dropped it. So... Uh, We'll take it. Second and 10, 2.07 to go, first quarter. Seven's taking his time, getting the play call. And ball, I believe the ball had been moved or something. So referee came in and Got it set, moved it back, reset the play clock to 15 seconds. So, it's going to be quarterback power, and he's going to be hit hard in the back. But uh, he was able to get a few yards. 
And uh, third and about seven. They just went quarterback power. And uh, they only got about three or four yards. He ran hard, though. He he was hit hard down. Like me, number 79, Jordan Ray came in. Number six, Chris Martinez. Both of them playing both ways on the offensive and defensive line. Came in with a little thump on that one. Going to bring up third and long. He's going to roll out. And he's going to be dropped. Incomplete. Just got a rolled out pass. And Jackson County is going to uh, uh, it's fourth and seven. I believe they're going to go for it. Yep, fourth and seven here in Jackson County. Nothing to lose, really, because the ball's inside the 20. And uh, they're just going to go for it, looks like. Point 25 to go, first quarter. And our defense has held up pretty well. I saw the big play, uh, you know, that's the only play they've really had that's, you know, been over by 15 yards. You know, we've made them work for it, and that's, that's what you got to do. They've got two receivers left, two receivers right. Shotgun formation for Jackson County. 22s to his left. They're going to empty out. And he's going to run. And he's going to throw it in the end zone. And that's going to be a touchdown for Jackson County. Heck of a play by number seven right there for Jackson County. He, he uh, eluded a defensive player and extended the play and rolled out to the left and uh, put it on the money right there in the back left of the end zone. Good pitch and catch. I believe number two for Jackson County caught that football. So a seven to two to seven to two connection. And uh, that quarterback right there made it just went and made a play. And uh, that's going to bring it up to 20 to nothing, Jackson County uh, with the lead. And uh, I believe they're going to try an extra point now. Neyland, is it good? It's good. It is good. <laughs> going to make it 21 to nothing. Uh, Jackson County with the lead. 1.16 to go, first quarter. And uh, still a lot of football left in this game. You know, it's still in the first quarter. Uh, game ain't over yet. We just got to get some momentum, make some plays right here. Got to make a big play somewhere. It's coming. Number 11, Brent Powell is going to pick it up. Going to make one guy miss. He's going to run hard. Ball's going to be down to the 34-yard line. Good catch by Brent Powell. Was able to reel it in and uh, got upfield. Got a couple of yards and Brent Powell on the kick return. Bulldogs ball, first and ten. Thirty-five yard line. All right. AC Cherry under center. It's going to hand it off to Houston Taylor, and he may score. He may score. Oh, ankle tackle. 30, all the way down to the 35-yard line. Big play right there. Kind of misdirection. Uh, we got a flag on it. Let's see what we got here. We got a flag on it. Yeah, we got a maybe gonna get some more yards on it because we got a flag on Jackson County. I'm not sure what the signal was in on that. Houston Taylor ran hard on that play and uh, thought he was gonna break it all the way for a touchdown, but it, it was just kind of a misdirection to the left. Houston Taylor came around on the right and it worked. Big gap and uh, big play right there. Get us right back in this football game. Ball's gonna be at the 35 yard line. Adrian Sieber, good positive yards. He's going to get about eight. Going 
Going to be second and five. Ball is inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line. And I believe Redbone Springs is going to let this game clock run out. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. It's going to be 21 nothing Jackson County. Red Bull and Springs has got the ball, and they are driving inside the 30-yard line. We'll be right back with Bulldog football. All right, welcome back. Uh, we missed a penalty on Red Bull Springs, a little false start. So instead of second and five, it's going to bring it back to the line of scrimmage, second and ten. So uh, second and ten. Uh, two receivers right, two receivers left. Got shotgun formation. AC Cherry's going to drop back to pass, and he is going to be dropped. Uh, he did get positive yards down. Looks to be about a two-yard gain. Didn't have his pass, so he kind of stuck his pet, uh, stuck his pads down. And was able to get some positive yards. It's going to bring it third and about seven. All right, third, and we got to pick this up right here. Big third down. Big third down. Ball to 33. <coughs> Taylor in motion, going to fake it. Going to hit Sieber. Sieber's going to have a big first down. Adrian Sieber faked the pitch to Houston Taylor. Sieber got loose inside, cut it inside and ran it hard. Another first down. Balls at the 25. Red Bull and Springs. Ten thirty-one to go. Second quarter. AC Cherry going to take it under center. Lancaster behind him. He's going to hand it off to Lancaster. He's going to run hard, and he's going to be dropped. About a number, number 14, another good tackle by him, by Jackson Thank County. You, Going to get about a yard on the play, bring up second and nine. A short game, going to be second and nine. <laughs> All right, second and nine. Ball's going to be around the 24 yard line. Shotgun formation. Taylor in motion. Going to give it to Taylor. We got some blockers. Good tackle right there by Jackson County. We had some blockers out front, and he shot the gap. And uh, for Jackson County, number three, and he made a good open field tackle. If he don't make that tackle, Houston Taylor may score on that play. It's going to bring up third and about nine. Ball's going to be down 24 yard line of Jackson County. So uh, we got, we were, realistically, we got two get, two downs to get 10 yards right here because we're going to go for it with the field position. Being down 21 nothing. AC Cherry under center. Taylor in motion. Going to run the same play we get with Sieber earlier for a first down. Jackson County had that sniffed up and A lot of things happening right there. They kind of stood up. We had a uh, fumble by Red Bull Springs, but I believe the whistle blew right as he fumbled it. And uh, so, I'm not sure. And we got a flag too as well. So we got some things to suit out right here. Uh, 
So we got holding right there. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to accept, <laughs> decline. They haven't signaled. I'm not sure. They're going to decline it. Fourth and ten. So uh, penalty did not did not end up mattering because they declined it. Fourth and ten. This is kind of the play of the game early on right here. Fourth and ten. And uh, down 21 nothing. Two receivers to the left. Two receivers to the right. Lancaster beside Cherry. Cherry's going to drop back to pass. He's going to make a guy miss. Then he's going to run into a defensive lineman for Jackson County. He's going to be dropped. It's going to be a turnover on down. It's going to be Red Bull or Jackson County football after that play. Turnover on down. So, um, Jackson, Jackson County ball. quick turnaround. And uh, they see Cherry right there kind of drop back to pass, and uh, they, they brought some extra defensive players. And uh, he was able to make one guy miss, but they had another one coming in as well. So uh, that would be a sack on the play. Turnover on downs. First and 10, Jackson County football at the 26-yard line. We got number one, their star receiver to the left, two receivers right. Got an H back. Got a running back. They're going to hand it off to 22. Good tackle by Patterson right there. Going to hold him to a two-yard gain. Good tackle. Patterson came in from his defensive end spot and was able to shed. They uh, had an H back in, uh, in motion and kind of lead block. He's able to shed it and make a good open field tackle on 22 for Jackson County. Going to bring up second and eight. Neyland, what do you think? we got to get a stop here, don't we? Yep, got to get a stop. Shotgun formation back to his right. Two's going to come in motion. He's going to give it to two. Going to make one guy miss, but he's not going to get much past that. He's able to get about a about two or three yard gain on that. And uh, Jordan Ray from his defensive tackle spot was able to clean it up, make a good tackle. Going to bring up third and long. Looks to be third and about four or five. George Ray also in on that tackle. And if I do this again, he's gonna have me a, a freaking starting lineup roster. I, I think look at I gotta I gotta look through all that to find him. All right, here we go. Third and about six. Got two receivers left, one receiver right, H back, and a tailback shotgun formation. 88 is going to come in motion. They're going single receiver. It's going to be an incomplete pass, too low. Try to hit one on a slant. And that's going to be fourth down. And... That's going to bring up fourth down. It's going to be a punt. Good hold by the Bulldogs. We needed that. We needed that bad. We was able to get a stop uh, after a turnover on downs and a lean on our defense. And like I said, you know, our defense outside, if uh, we don't have that early turnover and a couple of bad breaks our way with the ball bouncing, you know, we, we kind of we're in this game. And it's going to bounce around. Ball's kicked, and ball's going to be down at about the 41 of Red Bowling Springs. Good stop by the Bulldogs. And uh, 6.18 to go. Second quarter, 21-0 Jackson County. We'll be right back with Bulldog football.
All right. First in that first and ten. Lancaster with a big run all the way down to looks like to be ball at the fifteen yard line. Big first run by Tyler Lancaster. Down the left side. Got behind those two senior uh, tackle in guard right there. Chris uh, Martinez and Jordan Ray. And uh, Lancaster ran hard right there. Big game inside the 20. AC Cherry under center. Lancaster lined up behind him. And we're going to hand it off. And it's going to be maybe a gain of one right there. It's going to bring up second and nine. Ball is at the 15-yard line now. This is four down territory for sure. Clock's running. Under six minutes to go, second quarter. All right, Neela, what do you think we ought to run here on second down? What do you got for us? Run play. Well, run play, who should get it? Taylor, Lancaster, or Siebert? Houston Taylor. All right, Houston Taylor. All right, let's see if he gives it to him right here. All right, Brent Powell to the left receiver. Uh, Taylor's lined up in the wing back spot. He's going to come in motion. They're going to fake it. They're going to give it. Nope, it's going to be A.C. Cherry. It's going to fake it up uh, to Taylor in motion. And um, he's going to get about a two yards on that. It's going to bring up third and seven. Four down territory. Break the huddle. Ball's inside the 15. We're going to give it to Taylor, and he is going to have positive yards inside the 15 down to about the 13-yard line. Going to bring up fourth and, uh, we'll say, five yards right here. Big, big play in the game right here. What are we going to dial up, Neela? What we got in the bag right here? What's Coach Matt Swanner got on fourth down for us? Mm. Come on, there's a play clock. What's he going to call? He might run the play clock and take a timeout right here. That's what I think he might do. Yep. All right, Neela, you got some time, man. Tell us what, what play we're going to run. Houston Taylor take it to the end zone. Houston Taylor take it to the end zone. What pass, run, what you got? Mm, run. All right, run. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Bulldog football. we got a timeout on the field. These last couple of series, we've made some big run plays. Stalled out last time inside the 30. This time we're all the way down inside the 15-yard line. A.C. Cherry under center. Taylor in motion. Double handoff. And going to be nothing. Sieber is going to be tackled for about a two-yard loss. Jackson County uh, was a double handoff to Taylor. He handed it off to Sieber, and uh, they stayed at home on the backside. And uh, they was able to uh, kind of get uh, set the edge and was able to get upfield and drop him for about two yards, and that's going to turn the ball over to Jackson County. And um, it's going to be first and ten. They all are backed up, though, inside the, let's see, about the 15-yard line. Three eighteen to go. Second quarter. Shotgun formation. He's going to throw it going to be incomplete. Number seven went read option right there to number 14, and uh, there was nothing on it. And uh, he tried to hit 14. Houston Taylor laid a licking on the end of that play. He was unable to catch it. Good defensive play by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs defense showed up right here in the second quarter, and this really kept us in the ball game. Even though we're down 21 nothing, defense has not been the problem tonight. Uh, they, they stepped up, and uh, they got a stop last time on a quick turnaround, and we could get a stop here and get the ball back on the plus side of the field. All 
right. Seven. Shotgun formation. 22 to his right. Now he's going to overload to the right, bring a couple of tight ends over. And he's going to hand it off to 22. He's going to have positive yards. He's going to have about 12 yards on that play. It's going to be a first down. They're going to move the chains. Ball's going to be down at about the 28 yard line. 3.04 to go. Ball's going to be uh, 29 yard line. And first and 10. Jackson County's taking their time. This is 2.50 to go. First half. And uh, Seven's in shotgun formation. Back to his right. And almost picked off. Uh, he dropped it back, and I don't know if, he, if somebody ran a wrong route or what, but he threw it right to Tyler Lancaster. And Tyler Lancaster almost picked that, picked that football that. off. It was a... Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't even see a Jackson County player around that ball. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, good to play by Tyler Lancaster. Going to be second and ten. Clock stopped with the incomplete pass. 2.33 to go. And uh, they're taking their time. Run the play clock down. Seven shotgun formation. 22 to his left. They're going to overload a side just like they did a minute ago. Overload right. He's going to roll out. They got a screen set up. And he's going to good tackle by Adrian Sieber. We've got a flag on the play. Got a flag on the play. Not sure what they got here. They tried a screen pass, and uh, our defense was at home there. 2.23 left to halftime. 2.23 left to go. All right, Neyland, what we got here? Who's this flag going to be on? You tell the audience. Jackson County. Ah, they waved it off. I think it was on Jackson County, and they waved it off. So Third down and long. The flag, so here we go. Uh, Third and about 13. About 13. This could be another big stop for the Bulldogs. Ball's at the 26-yard line. Now they they blew the play by, I'm not sure. They waved off the flag, and then they blew the play. I guess they finally marked the ball and got it set. So third and long. Uh, ball at the 27-yard line, and Coach Loftus is going to take a timeout. All right, timeout, Jackson County. And... Uh, we're going to take it with them. 2.14 to go, second quarter. Be timeout for the Blue Devils. All right. Got Houston Taylor in the center of the field. Uh, looks like we are kind of backed up. Going to keep it in front of us. They're going to throw a quick pass out. And Ooh. boom, he's going to be dropped by number 79. Jordan Ray. Jordan Ray. Jordan Ray. Jordan Ray with a big hit. Big play, fourth and long now, and Red Bull Springs gonna call a timeout, stop the clock, and get the ball back right here. One fifty-seven to go, second quarter. Yeah. All right, Jackson County's gonna kick it away. It's not a good kick, but it's gonna take a favorable bounce for the Blue Devils, and gonna go down at about the thirty-nine yard line. Thirty-nine yard line, Red Bull Springs, good field position. I believe we have one timeout left, 146 to go.
got to break one right here. Got to break one and make something happen. Kind of scores of the region. Orange with the cab and a good one, 14-14 second quarter. AC Cherry shotgun formation, three receivers to his right. One receiver left, Lancaster flanking him to his right. He's going to drop back to pass. He's got plenty of time, and it's going to be completed. Good catch by number 87 for the Bulldogs. Down at the 40. Good pitch and catch of a 20-yard pass to number 87. I believe that is Delton Dallas, freshman. Way to get his hands under it. Good pass by A.C. Cherry. Three receivers left, one receiver right. Now we're going to bring back two receivers left, two receivers right. Shotgun formation. They're going to bring a blitzer. A.C. Cherry is going to tuck it, and he's going to be dropped down, and we've got flags everywhere. Got two flags. We got a flag. Two two fouls on this, so we'll have to get this sorted. There's a minute on nine, minute nine left. Plenty of time. What's the call? What you got here, Nathan? What we got? Mm. All right, you tell the audience right here what we got. Right, uh, see. We got two flags. I believe there's two different penalties. Got a lot to get sorted right here. One on Red Bullman and one on Jackson. Personal foul, hands to the face. It's going to back it up 15. Back it up. We had a About 15 yards with the dog. illegal uh, kind of personal foul, hands to the face. It's going to bring it back to the 45. Minute 09. It's going to be first down and LaFette. Nobody got that, I don't know. Did you get it? LaFette that way? LaFette that way, yeah. First down, LaFette. Yeah. All right. Here we go. See we We're going to go handoff. Lancaster. It's going to get about two yards. And Jackson County's going to call a timeout. Hmm. Surprised by that, but they're going to make Red Bull and run a few plays, looks like. So it's going to be second down and long, long. Second down, and uh, Jackson County is going to call a timeout. We're going to take it with them. We'll be right back with Bulldog football. Good blocking on offense. Good good observation there, Nee. Three receivers to the ref, right. Seaber in motion. They're going to give the Seaber. He's going to break it. Oh, Good positive, good hard run by Adrian Sieber. Getting a little momentum on good offense. Run by about eight yards. It's going to be third and long. Third and 16. 32 seconds. Not sure what we're doing. Guess we're going to run out to I believe we're going to concede this half, guys. Oh, I don't. Yeah. All righty, third and long. Sixteen, I guess we're just going to go into the house. Red Bone Spring going to call a timeout. Four seconds to go. Let's see, what are we going to drop here? A little Hail Mary? What do you think, Neyland? Hook and ladder knee? You know, I know of the quarterback that would be perfect for this play, Joe Milton. He got a cannon on him. He could throw this sucker. Joe Milton would be perfect for this play, boys. Ball is uh, about the 46-yard line. Joe Milton don't deserve to be on the field. He throw interception. No, I got faith in Bazooka, Bazooka Joe now. Bazooka. <laughs> He's got bazooka an arm. to the other team. He's got an arm on him. Love him or hate him, he's got an arm on him. No, bazooka to the other team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Red Bull Springs going to come out of this timeout. Ball is on. Adrian Sieber got pretty good yardage on that run. Ball's going to be at about the 46-yard line. 
All right, Nate, what are we going to do here? What you got for us? Mm. Just try to get upfield. Try to get upfield. Can't turn it over here. Don't, that's the only thing. Don't need a pick six, fumble, or anything like that. Just, but we're going to air it out. I like it. All right, AC Cherry drops back. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to hit. He's going to hit Dilton. He's going to fall. Well, we got a fumble. And he's going to go out of bounds. And uh, Jackson County's going to pick it up, but it ain't going to matter. Last play of the half. 21 to nothing. Red Bowling Springs is behind to the Jackson County Blue Devils. All right, welcome back. Uh, it's 21 nothing. Jackson County's ahead. Start of the second half. Ball's going to be kicked in the air. Jackson County's going to return it down. Good tackle by number 75 for the Bulldogs. Hayden Jackson, sophomore. Good tackle by Hayden Jackson right there in special teams. Ball's going to be down at the 36-yard line. Jackson County, first and 10. They are leading this game 21 to nothing. Uh, Red Bull Springs able to get two or three stops right there at the end of the half on defense. All their scoring came in the first quarter. So uh, it's going to be second down. Uh, or sorry, first down and 10, 11.52 to go. It's third quarter. And it's going to be, ball's going to be uh, incomplete. Number two went down his knee anyway. If he'd have caught it, it would have been no game. Ball uh, short on it, short-armed on it. So that's going to bring up second and ten. Looks like... Uh, Two receivers to the right. Jackson County taking their time getting the play call in. Two receivers right. Tight end right, tight end left. They're going to overload. Red Bull Springs going to shift. 22 is going to make one guy miss. It's going to make a couple of guys miss. And he's going to get a cross midfield. Good hard run by 22 for Jackson County. Ball is going to be down at the 47-yard line. They've ran that play a lot. They, uh, they'll they bring the tight ends late over in motion and kind of overload the right side. And uh, Red Bull Springs did a pretty good job of getting over there. But uh, it's just number 22, he's elusive, big physical back, and he's elusive. And uh, he kind of may just basically just made a couple guys miss. Tackle by 23, 23, Houston Taylor. Good tackle by Houston Taylor. All right, welcome back. Number seven is going to drop back to pass on first down. He's going to take his check down guy. Check down guy is going to get about seven yards on first down. Jackson County is going to bring up second and about three for the Jackson County Blue Devils. They are in Red Bull and Springs side of the field down tackle. at the 39-yard line. Who's on the tackle, Neyland? Number three, Aiden Cherry. Let's go. Number three with the tackle. Shotgun formation. And a little RPO action. And not sure. Got a completed pass, but looks like it might be a late hit on Red Bull and Springs right here. We'll have to get it figured out. Right. 
believe we I believe we had a late hit, and I think there was two flags on the play. I'm not sure. I believe they're going to replay the down because I think. Offset and personal fouls is going to be second and three. Play the down over. Second and three. So we had two flags on that play, I assume. They're going to offset and they're going to replay the down. Looks to be second and three. Clock's running under 10.30 to go. Jackson County is getting the play call in from Sean Loftus. And uh, looks to be a uh, – not sure if they got the right – yeah, they're going to call a timeout. I believe they had the wrong play call in. Jackson County is going to call a timeout. timeout for Jackson County. We'll be right back with Bulldog football. And uh, seven is going to be in shotgun formation, two receivers to the short side of the field to the right. They're going to overload that side to the right again. And tailback right. And they're going to run it to the left. Good hard tackle right there. Adrian Sieber and uh, number 79, Jordan Ray, combine on tackle. And Ray, Jordan Ray. Is that going to be enough for a first down, Neil? Going to be enough for a first down. Jackson first County. Ball's going to be 40, uh, no, I'm sorry, 37-yard line. Good tackle right there by the Bulldogs. Had two uh, two Bulldogs in on that tackle, but it was enough for a first down. So it's going to be first and 10. Quarterback power by number seven. He's going to cut it upfield, and he is going to get um, – Tackled by 23 Houston Taylor. Yep, 23 Houston Taylor. Good tackle by Taylor. Good good defensive game so far by the Bulldogs. Sieber was in there too. Yep, they, they've not had much luck. You know, that long pass and uh, that turnover in the, on the special teams has been the two plays that's really slayed this game. And uh, we've, we've kind of stalled out both times that we've got deep in their territory. Other than that, it's been a pretty close game. Uh, number seven, going to bring up second and six. Shotgun formation. 22 is left. They're going to hand it to 20. He's going to break a couple of tackles, take a couple with him. It's going to be close to a first down. Tyler Lancaster with the tackle. Tyler Lancaster is all over the field tonight. Guy's playing hard. Houston Taylor as well. Those two guys on the back end have been tough, be tough. Tough, tough. Right, Red Bull Springs in cover two. Two safeties back, middle of the field. Taking their time. They're letting the clock run. Under eight minutes to go. Third quarter. Sevens in shotgun formation. Just a quick pass to number two. And it's going to be complete. And uh, going to get about seven yards on that play. Balls looks like they'll be spotted around a 20 yard line. Of Red Bull and Springs and uh, Brent Powell and uh, Tarlin Custer with the tackle. Good tackles by those guys. Shotgun formation, second and short. Another quick pass. Going to stick his head down. Going to be close to a first down. Who's on that tackle right there, Neela? I think it was Brent Powell and Tarlin Custer again. Yep. I believe you'll be De Leon over there as well. Sophomore number two, I believe. They done the exact same play like they did. Yep, two plays in a row. They ran the same play. Their Red Bull Springs kind of playing off over there, and uh, they got kind of two receivers stacked to the right, and they're just taking the five or six yard gain. It's gonna be third and about a foot. They're gonna do like Hopple did. It. Yep, a little Josh Hopple play. Good tackle right there by number 54. I believe that's Patterson, but um, that's gonna be enough for a first down. They're gonna move the chains. Ball's gonna be at the 15 yard line. 
Yeah, 54 damage. First and 10 at the 15. It's going, clock's running under seven right here. Red Bull Springs has not had the ball this half as Jackson County's possessed it and just kind of chewed on the clock a little bit in this third quarter. It's not good when you're down 21 nothing. So we got to make a play. You gotta, somebody's got to maybe force a fumble. Pick six, something like that, because they, they're inside the 20 now. And they went ball control. They ain't going to get much there. They went quarterback power again, and he might have got a yard, and that's about it. Good play by the Bulldogs. 79, Jordan Ray. Good play. Jordan Ray. Right. All right, Jackson County's going to call another timeout as they had the wrong play in. And Coach Hoffs is a little agitated with that. So they're going to call another timeout. We're going to take it with them. We'll be right back with Bulldog football. Got a high formation, two receivers right. Jordan Ray doing um, good on both sides. He is. And they're going to throw a fade pattern to the end zone. And it's going to be caught by number one for Jackson County. And uh, that's going to be a touchdown. Jackson County going to make it 27 to nothing pending the PAT right here. That was just a, another uh, number one's their go-to guy. They got him one-on-one. -on -one. They lined him up way outside where uh, the safeties couldn't get over in time and uh, just kind of a, threw it to the pylon and he ran under it and caught it and touched down. Snap, set, kick. Is it good, Nee? It is good. Good. 28 nothing. Jackson County leads. 5.37 to go third quarter. We'll be right back. Bulldogs will be receiving the kickoff here in a minute. Are you back? All right, welcome back. Ball's in the air. Houston Taylor's going to pick it up. It's going to cut it upfield. It's going to get down about the 30-yard line. First to 10. He's played a pretty good game tonight. Yeah, He's they had a good game. Houston Taylor, Tyler Lancaster, they, they yep. played hard on both sides of the ball tonight. And yep. and the offensive line of 79, Jordan Ray. Yeah. He's been all over the field. Him and 54. Yep, Patterson. Yep, all over. The seniors have really come to play tonight. Yep. 28 to nothing, 532 to go, third quarter. First and 10. This is the first possession for uh, Red Bull and Springs this half. Jackson County kept it for over six minutes right there. And uh, Red Bull Springs going to go quick to the ball. Going to hand it off to Hughes Taylor. Oh, good block. Oh, oh. no. Yep. We got a big hold on the play. Good you. game by Taylor, but it's going to come back. Yep. He wasn't a pancake him right there. <laughs> yeah, kind of grabbed him. And yeah. That's a, oh, he that made his presence known. That's the easiest call. Dwayne will make all night right there. Yeah. That went that. I'd rather see him blocking, though, than just standing there. Yeah, he he got him down. He just kind of grabbed both hands and jerseys. And I think he thought he's still on defense. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure. Good tackle. But yeah. We got a block. Yeah. We can't tackle there. Right. All right, first just and 20 now. Push him over to the sideline. Oh, there goes Seaver. He cut it up. Oh. Sieber on mm -hmm. the handoff. Looks like he's got about three yards on the play. Mm -hmm. about three by Sieber. Yep. He's running east and west. Yeah, I think Gotta that's cut one. It up north and south. I think that's one right there where he probably could have just cut it right off that left tackle and got up field in the middle yeah. of the field. Yep. Cut it up and go. He ran hard, hard east and west, but. Yeah. All right. All right. 
right, hand off to Seber again. Short side of the field is going to get about three yards. And uh, it's going to bring up third and long with that 10-yard holding penalty. Got us behind the chains. It's going to bring up third and long. and probably going to throw the ball right here. Third and about 14. A.C. Cherry, junior quarterback for the Bulldogs, will get to play in for Coach Matt Swanner, the offensive coordinator this season. And he is going to deliver it in to the huddle. Clock's running under four minutes to go. Third quarter, 28-0. Jackson County's ahead. Bulldogs sprint to the ball. Three receivers to the right. One receiver left. A.C. Cherry is going to take it. Oh, get rid of he's it. Going to oh, he's going to break a tackle. It. Oh, hold on to it. And it's slung down about yep. a gain of two on the play. Looks like he's got back to the regional. Yeah, I believe he's going to get back to the regional line. And and I believe we're going to punt it away. 54, Patterson is back to kick. We're running a kid on late, I believe on the line. Sure. Yep. And we've got 11 out there now. Clock's under three minutes. Clock's running. And he's going to get it away. Good kick. Four's going to pick it up. Four's going to hmm. run out of bounds. And can't tell where they spotted that at. That's about at the 50 right there. Yep. There's a ref right there. Yep. Or ball, umpire. Ball's going to be at midfield. 2.43 to go. Jackson County in control right now. Uh, I tell you what, uh, Katie, Jackson County, uh, you know, they're not physically, you know, you know, they don't look much different than us physically, but uh, I can tell you, just looking at them from a coach's point of view, Coach Loftus, he, he's done a good job with this group. You know, they haven't made any mistakes. They've had very few penalties. Yeah. They haven't turned the ball over. They're, they're a well-coached group. You, you can just tell by the way they play. They, they, they've done a good job tonight. Oh, 54, why do you get in the backfield? Yeah. Yeah. They've had few to minimum penalties tonight. Yeah. You know, and they've not um, – They've kept their composure and yeah, they they uh, they they've been buttoned up. You can tell that they're they're well coached and they haven't beat themselves. You know they've run right. the ball when they need to run the ball and they've hit the open pass when they have. And, uh, they've just run the clock here in the third quarter. It's already under two thirty. Ball's on yeah. the forty nine. Second and nine. Got a rollout pass. Oh, oh it's going to be picked. Good job, buddy. Tyler Lancaster. You know, with a big play. Oh, it's going to be flag. a late flag. Yep. Tyler Lancaster with a pick. And we've got a Jackson County player down as well. But a big play right there by Tyler Lancaster. Yeah, he has played his heart out. He's, you can tell he's, he's wanting to be on the field. He's kind of juggled it, was able to get it. Yep. To rally it and get up field, ball's going to be at the 40-yard line, too. So. Yeah, that's good. But uh, we got a Jackson County player down right now. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with Bulldog football. Uh, he actually went to Jackson County. I believe he transferred over his freshman year. So that's got to feel good for him. A uh, minute 58 to go, third quarter. Hand off to Sieber. Mm. And he's going to be dropped down for about a yard. Sieber on the carry for about a yard. Second and nine. Second and nine. Ball is in a good good field position. Oh, Neyland wants the headsets back now. Hold on. All right. Come on in, Neyland. All right. Second and nine. Ball at the 47-yard line. Sieber in motion. Going to fake it. And we're going to throw it incomplete. And going to bring up third and about seven. Clock stop, 115 to go. Third, 
Jordan Ray had him a game. Jordan Ray has played his butt off on the line. Both sides. All right, third down, AC Cherry. Completed the Sabre. It might be. It's going to be incomplete. Bobbled, intended for Adrian Sieber, but it was close to him catching it, but I guess they will. I already caught it. Yeah, they, they, they was trying to spot it, but it's going to be fourth down. Fourth and seven. Do we go for it here? 108 to go. I believe I would go for it too, but it looks like we're going to punt it away. Lancaster coming in. Oh, we're going we're going to go for it right here, boys. Flag on the play. Got a flag on the play. Lancaster got it close to a first down. First down but we got a flag. 102 left in the corner. But I don't know if he got it. I don't, I don't think they got it. It's close. What do you think, Katie? Did he get it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's a flag on the field, but he's a yard short. So it'll be declined. And 46 yard line. Ball. 46 yard line, Jackson County ahead 28 to nothing. First and 10. We just came up about a yard short right there. I like the decision to go for it, just couldn't get it. Shotgun formation. Going to 22 is going to run hard. He's going to get about 12 yards on it. We got a flag, though, on a play. Tackled by Aiden Cherry First down run, but we've got and Tyler Jens. Tyler Jens. 54 seconds to go. And that's going to be on Jackson County. It's going to back him up. Must be some pollen in there. We needed that. And uh, <laughs> 35, 35 yard line. That's going to be, I don't know if it's a personal foul. I'm not sure what they, was that a personal foul? Okay. Because. long way. They got to get all the way to the 45, 44 yard line. They're at, I'd say about 45. Yeah, they're about 35, so must have been a personal foul. First and 25. He's going to drop it off. He's got 22. 22. It's still going. Good pursuit by Jordan Ray all the way down. Him and Tyler Lancaster pursuing the ball. And uh, that was a good play call right there by Sean Loftus. He uh, kind of first and 25 went to the screen game and was able to uh, get first down and then some. Jordan Ray didn't give up on that play. Yes, he did not. And I'm Jordan Ray, man, he, I tell you what, he's, he's, coming, in, he's coming into his own right now. Uh, he's he's going to be a force down the stretch for these Bulldogs. He surprised me a lot and, this uh, game. Yes. Ball's going to be, where you where you got it out there, Neyland? About 25, maybe? 25-yard line. It's going to be the last play, I believe, of the third quarter. 28 nothing. Jackson County leads. Ball been 25. When we come back, we'll take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back, back with Bulldog football. All right, welcome back. First and 10. Ball to 25. Jackson County in control of this game. Seven's going to direct. Power run off the left side is going to cut it up. Good tackle by 
looks like Tyler Lancaster again was in on it, and a cornerback that I Patterson. not find the number on it. Patterson. All right, Patterson now it says. It's going to be first and ten. It's going to be another first down for the gain. I believe the quarterback gained about ten yards on that play. It's going to be on the fifteen yard line. Balls at the fifteen yard line. First and ten. Number seven's in shotgun formation. Going to give the 22. 22's going to run hard. Tackled by Lancaster. Tackled by Adrian Sieber and Tyler Lancaster. Ball's going to be down. Oh, let's see. Eight-yard line. Second and three. Need to hold them right here. And... 22. 54. I think that's Damian Patterson. Patterson again. Good tackle by Patterson. That's going to be enough for a first down, though. Ball's Patterson inside the five. The first and goal. First and goal. Jackson County. they going to shotgun formation, staying in that same two receivers left, one receiver right. He's going to take it, going to hand it to 22 again. And they are on the same play, and 22 is going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson County. Going to make it 34 to nothing now, pinning the PAT. Neither I'm going to let you call this PAT this time, okay? I'll set the stage for it. Uh, it's 34 to nothing. 10.32 to go. Jackson running the game being good. Jackson County's played a played a pretty good game tonight. They've, they've played a complete game. Especially that running game. Yeah. 84 is going to line it up. Soccer style. All right, Nealon, you're on the call. It looks good. It's good. It good. good. Mm -hmm. 35 nothing. 10, 32 to go. Jackson County Blue Devils on top. I believe the mercy rule will be in effect now. Uh, so this might move fast these last 10 minutes or so, but uh, We'll be right back after a commercial break. More Bulldog football. Adrian Sieber with a return to the 15-yard line. Want to bring up first and 10. Jackson County going to get some subs in. And I believe the clock's going to run the rest of the game right here as it is yeah. 10 minutes to go. Mercy rule is in effect. All right. Got three by one. Going to look to pass. It's going to make one guy miss. It's going to cut it up. It's going to be dropped down. They're going to wind the clock. I believe he got a yard on it. Kind of didn't have anything. Tucked it. And uh, was able to get a feel for about two yards. Second and about eight. He got showed the ball. Receiver right, wing T formation. We're going to hand it off to Adrian Sieber. He's Sieber going to be dropped down. The 29 yard line. Adrian Sieber is going to be dropped from behind. Could be a leg. Jackson County, 29 yard line. Yep, Adrian Sieber went down. And it's like we may have it. I believe he hurt his leg on that play. All right, we're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back with Bulldog football. Huh? 
All right, welcome back. Houston Taylor with a big long run. But Adrian Siever was able to walk off the field. But we've got a personal foul. Looks like we got Damian Patterson coming off. Got a personal foul on Red Bullin, but it's going to be enough for a first down. First and ten. We've got a false start, I believe. No. Well, the white hat wasn't ready, so. That down's not going to count. He was explaining it to the ref. 6.50 to go. 35 nothing. Jackson County Blue Devils on top. AC Cherry's getting the play call in. First and 10. Ball to 36-yard line. Britton Powell to the right. Taylor. We're going to go pitch out to Yorby. It's going to be stuffed. It's going to bring up second at about 15 20. By number two, don't have a name. Clock's running. 6 10 to go. Second and about 14. Even I think Houston Taylor's going to break one for a touchdown right here. He in? He's in. He's going to take it. And he's going to get dropped down pretty hard. And we've got more flags. Had a bunch of flags this day. We've got more flags on the field. That might be on Jackson County. Yep, they're going to move it up. I believe that's going to be an automatic first down. No, not automatic first down, but it's going to be enough for a first down. First down, modern automotive first down. All right, first in five minutes. You'll be Deleon. You'll be Deleon's going to get a loss of about two yards on that play. Under 4.30 to go. Fourth quarter. 35 nothing. Jackson County Blue Devils are up. Second and about 13. Ball at the 46-yard line. AC Cherry under center. Going to hand it to Yorby again. Yorby's going to get crunched. And dropped down by number 77 for Jackson County. Going to bring up third and long here. Dylan, do we run it here or do we throw it? What you got for us, Bubba? Got us running it. All righty, third and 15. Let's see what we got in the bag here. Houston Taylor with some good blocking on that play. Houston Taylor has played a well of a game tonight. Him, Tyler Lancaster, Jordan Ray. Jordan Ray. I hate to leave out some. Adrian Sieber, Patterson on defense. They, they've played a good football game. We had a false start. Back us up five. Going to bring up third and longer. Third and about 20 now. Clock's running. Another penalty. Imagine that. This time going to be about third and 20. Third and 20. 
35. Clock's under three now. We're going to get the play in. I believe we're going to see a pass. We was going to roll out pass right there. Jackson County going to sub somebody in late. They're going to get off the field in time. Roll out pass. And he's going to be crunched for a loss on the play by number 51 for Jackson County. Going to bring up fourth and longer. I believe we're going to punt it away. Two eighteen to go. Adrian Sieber is back on the field, so that's good news for the Bulldogs. Good point. Oh. Ball's going to be dropped. He's going to pick it up. There is 1.32 to go. Clock's running 35 nothing, And let's see what we got here. All right, 101 to go. They're going to hand it off to 20. Tackle by Tyler Lancaster and Saber. Yep. Good tackle by those two guys. 40 seconds to go. 35 nothing. About time for one more play right here. Jackson's running game has been good tonight. Yes, it has. That should be the last play of the game. It's 35 nothing. Looks like they're going to run it out. Yep, and it's going to be the last play of the uh, football game. It's 35 nothing. Jackson. Jackson County with the win tonight at Red Bull and Springs. That'll be uh, the end. We'll be ne next week. We'll be at Perry County High School for for uh, action. But uh, tonight, Jackson County won 35 to nothing. I'm gonna send it back to the station. Thank y'all for listening in tonight. <laughs>